These are the hottest selling and best concealed carry guns on the market. Tens of thousands of customers have collectively chosen these pistols above all the other concealed carry handguns available on the market. There are plenty of amazing pistols that are not on this gun list. That doesn't mean they aren't great. It just means we only included the most commonly used and popular concealed carry guns in this list. After all, we only have room for seven of them. We have listed the top seven CCW handguns and their key features plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website allaboutsurvival.com. Number 7. Walter PPK You already thought it, but I'll say it. Bond. James Bond. Yes, it's that gun. The Legend of the Silver Screen. Now, before you go off all half-cocked, look that one up for an interesting history of a cliché. We know this isn't a brand new gun. In fact, it's a rather old design, first introduced in 1930 but it has been redone for 2019 while hanging on to the heritage that made it famous. While the gun has a bit of a checkered past, Hitler offed himself in his underground bunker with the 32 caliber version, it's most recognizable for its stainless steel frame flashing in the limelight in the hands of 1007. The reborn version, absent from Walter's arsenal since 1992, is chambered in 380 ACP to hold a bit more ammo than the 9mm version. With a gun this small, that extra round can make a difference. Plus, today's 380 cartridges are more powerful than in years gone by, so you're not really sacrificing much with the slightly smaller round. All the controls are right-handed, as is tradition in older models, both original and redone. The magazine is a scant 6 plus 1, However, for one extra round, pick up the short PPK-S version that features a slightly longer grip with a 7 plus 1 magazine and single color black finish. Production of this venerable weapon has moved from Germany to Walter's US headquarters in Fort Smith, Arkansas, making this a truly American-made gem. Number 6. Ruger Max 9 there was no chance Ruger was going to be left out of the micro-compact fray, and the company did a whole bunch of things right with the Max 9. Available with or without the manual safety lever, the Max 9 comes standard with a slide cut for optics and a fiber optic tritium front sight that's easily visible in both daylight and low light conditions. Additionally, the nicely sized sights co-witness with J-point or shield style micro red dot optics. Oh, and the Max 9 also boasts a 10 round capacity for the standard magazine as well. The slide and barrel wear a black oxide finish and the mag release is reversible for left handed shooters. Speaking of which, controls like the magazine release and the slide stop are a little skimpy, but Ruger makes up for it with how well the pistol handles during fire and with the really nice trigger pull. The sample unit's trigger measured an average of 4.75 pounds at the break and the pull was very clean and grit free. Though the grip looks a little boxy, it's extremely comfortable. Every single evaluator laud the Max 9's controllability, very impressed with its accuracy. We were shooting one hole groups at 7 yards with the pint sized heater. The only issue we ran into was that the magazine release was small and a little hard to engage and the 10 round magazine didn't want to fall free on its own at times. It may have just been an issue with that particular magazine since there was no problem getting the 12 rounder to pop free. The Ruger Max 9 brought a lot to the table in regard to features and performance, especially in comparison to other pistols in the test. While it wasn't the least expensive pistol on the table, there's no question that it's action packed with value and very worthy of being at your side. Number 5. CZ P10C Small guns are great, but I, like many people, typically prefer a slightly larger gun. Carrying a compact firearm isn't that difficult with the right combination of holster and belt. 
The CZ P10C is a compact firearm that's one of the best on the market. The Glock 19 long ruled this seat, but Glock has fallen behind lately. The P10C packs 15 rounds of 9mm, a compact size, a polymer frame, and a striker fire design. It sounds basic, but packs several features that make it a step above the rest. First, the flat face trigger is smooth and exceptionally well done. The grip is very aggressive and will cling to your hand. A trigger guard undercut and a high beaver tail makes the gun very easy to get a high comfortable grip to control the weapon better. This is one of the few guns that features a slide lock that's not easily pinned down with a thumbs forward grip. Plus, it comes with metal sights. It just does everything the Glock 19 can do, but does it a little better. If you don't mind a little extra size, then the CZ P10C has your back. Number 4. Taurus GX4 If you like the way a Glock looks and feels in your hand, you'll like the Taurus GX4. It is a polymer-framed striker-fired pistol with a passive trigger safety and a removable slide plate for optics mounting. At only 6 inches long and 4.4 inches high, it is an amazingly compact and lightweight pistol. However, with its easy to see sights, it was very manageable on all the practical drills and scored 4th place overall in that category. Stacked up against all the other handguns in the test, this pistol ranked 3rd and had a best of the test score of 4.64 points out of 5 on the value scale. We experienced no stoppages with the GX4. The GX4 has a reversible magazine release and comes with two 11 round magazines with a much appreciated extended base plate. An additional backstrap is supplied to help you adjust the grip to fit your hand. The slide stop is of minimal proportions to prevent accidental engagement but is positioned well enough for thumb control if that's how you like to release the slide. The rear sight is smartly devoid of unnecessary dots and the front sight has a white dot. The pistol disassembles easily enough but a flat blade screwdriver is required. This was the one feature we did not like. Number 3. SNW MMP Shield Plus Smith & Wesson jumped into the micro compact market in 2021 with the MMP Shield Plus. Not exactly a brand new design. The Shield Plus builds on the success of the Shield 2.0 by integrating a few subtle changes. These include an increased magazine capacity of 10 plus 1 rounds with a flush fitting mag and 13 plus 1 rounds with the extended mag. Additionally, the texturing was tweaked a bit for user comfort. The feel is somewhere between the original Shield and Smith's MMP 2.0 pistols. Perhaps the biggest and most important change with the Shield Plus is the trigger. The company did away with the hinge trigger design in favor of a flat faced version and the trigger brake was improved as well. Our pistol's trigger broke at an average of 4.4 pounds and it ended up being one of the better triggers of the striker fired pistols we tested. This was more for the very clean and authoritative snap of the trigger than the pull weight. There was no mushiness or creep, just a very crisp release for a striker fired pistol. The guys weren't blown away by the white three dot sights on the review pistol, but they are made from steel and night sights are available as an option. But there were quite a few comments about how pleasant the Shield Plus was to shoot and how comfortable it was during fire. There's just something about the pistol size and ergos that makes the Shield Plus easy to shoot. Aside from those changes, Everything else was the same, including the hard-wearing Ar Armonite finish and the reversible magazine release. A bonus with the tweaked design is that the Shield Plus will still fit the vast majority of holsters made from the original Shield. And while there's not a whole lot of glitz and glam about the Shield Plus, it's easily one of the best micro-compact pistols of the bunch. Number 2. Spring Hellcat As pointed out, the SIG P365 is a game changer. The Springfield Hellcat is proof. Quickly embracing the micro compact concept, the Illinois Concern cocked up a direct competitor to the popular SIG, and in many respects produced a concealed carry gun option that runs neck and neck with the original. No larger than a compact 380 ACP, the Striker fired amongst the smallest 9mm options available today. 
By the tape, it measures in at 1 inch in width, 6 inches in length, and weighs in at 18 ounces. Pretty concealable and easy to carry by anyone's standard. At the same tick, the Hellcat offers everything you'd expect out of a much larger concealed carry pistol, especially capacity. Out of the box, the 3 inch barreled pistol boasts more firepower than nearly anything in its class, shipping with an 11 round magazine. Invest in the 13 round extended capacity magazine. Well, folks, you'll holster and iron flirting with a full sized pistol's capacity. Outfitted with adaptive grip texturing, the Hellcat offers a positive grip when you need it, yet the availability to reposition your hand when you need to. A flat face trigger combined with a featherweight brake and short reset ups, the pistol's accuracy resume, as well as allows it to run when needed. Breaking from the herd, Springfield opted for a slightly new sighting system, jettisoning the traditional three-dot sights for a U-notch. Similar in concept, the execution differs in that shooters place the fiber optic front pipe in the white outlined U-notch. A fast and intuitive system, few will miss the old way of building a sight picture. Additionally, the OSP model offers a slide cut for mounting optics, if a red dot is more your cup of tea. Perhaps best of all, the Hellcat comes in as one of the most affordable options in its class. In turn, it gives little excuse for not going small for everyday carry. Number 1. Sig Sauer P365XRZ First on the block was the company that started the current trend, Sig Sauer. After tremendous success with the P365 and P365XL, SIG introduced the P365XRZ this year. The X model is a hybrid of the P365's shorter barrel and slide and the P365XL's taller frame, which natively hosts 12 round magazines. Everything good about the P365 platform is still good, including the texturing, X-ray 3 night sights, fore and aft cocking serrations, oversized trigger guard, flat face trigger, and reversible magazine release. The trigger yields up a fairly clean, though not exceedingly crisp, break at an average of 4.75 pounds. The P365XRZ also includes the company's proprietary Romeo Zero optic that offers either a 3 or 6 MOA red dot and has a battery life of up to 20,000 hours. To maximize battery life, the Romeo Zero utilizes SIG's Motac system that powers up the dot when motion is detected and shuts the unit off when motion has stopped for a period of time. The one area where several evaluators gave the P365X a significant ding was the sights, or lack thereof. The P365XRZ does not have a rear sight when the optic is installed. Instead, there is a slight notch in the rear of the RZ's housing to align the front sight. This solution leaves something to be desired, especially for a defensive pistol when back sights might be needed. The guys felt like the minimalist notch impacted accuracy, especially at any real distance. Aside from that, the P365XRZ functioned flawlessly and turned out to be one of the best size for capacity pistols on the test bench. The P365XRZ ships with two 12 round magazines in jurisdictions where it's allowed. So that wraps up our list of the best CCW handguns. Hope you found this video helpful and if so, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which CCW handgun you are going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked the video and it helped you in any way, please get this video a like, and if you don't want to miss out any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.